Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show of Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, a little something different today. Uh, it's more about the uh, actors and their wives than the actual show itself. As in Don Knotts' first wife and Andy Griffith's first wife uh, didn't appear to get along very well. So I thought this would be interesting, and we will get right into it. So let's go. Knotts married his first wife, Kay, in 1947. When the Barney Fife actor met his first wife, Kay, he immediately knew she was one for him. Catherine Metz was a woman of substance, the daughter of a Northern Baptist minister from Wheeling, West Virginia, uh, a West Virginia city so far north it was almost Ohio. Daniel DeVise wrote in his autobiography, Andy Don, uh, The Making of a Friendship and Classic American TV Show. Couple dated for two years and then wed in 1947 at her father's church. Now, Andy Griffith, his wife Barbara, was an aspiring entertainer. Uh, the two had a deal once that married. That once they married, that if one found show business success, the other one would be fully supportive. Now, Barbara's was a genteel Southern Eastern North Carolina family. Barbara's nephew told DeWise they were prominent in their town, and Barbara artistic and pretty, left Troy with an abundant promise. Barbara brought her crystalline soprano to Chapel Hill after completing her degree at uh, Converse College in South Carolina. Andy and Barbara met for coffee, and three days later he proposed to her, and she accepted. While Griffith and Knotts were close, and even depended on one another, the same could not be said for their wives. The two women came from different backgrounds and had little in common. Andy and Don came to trust each other for counsel, perhaps even above their wives and certainly above their managers, DeVise wrote. Alas, the spouses didn't hit it off quite so well. Kay Knotts was a minister's daughter, raised with enough domestic savvy to be a good wife and mother, and Barbara Griffith was the daughter of a school superintendent, reared around hired help, a southern aristocrat who thought dirty dishes and discarded socks were carried off by elves. Now for Barbara, her husband was like her, an artist, while for Kay, Don was her home's breadwinner. Barbara was ambitious to advance her career, and Kay was content with her domestic life. Whereas Kay was first and foremost Don's wife, Barbara saw herself as a fellow entertainer. On the North Carolina stage where she and Andy had met, Barbara was the star, DeVise said. Andy's success drove a wedge between him and Barbara, who watched her own career drift away. The final straw came when a television producer approached Barbara and offered her a bit part on a show if she could persuade her husband to take the lead. That day, she vowed to leave show business. Kind of uh, opposites. When you think, um, you would think, if, if you didn't know, you would think that she married Andy for, to get into the business, but apparently Andy wasn't the star he was until after they were married, but uh, I do remember her as a bit player on the Andy Griffith show in the choir. Uh, it's just sad it didn't work out for either one of the, either one of the couples. Um I just found that interesting and kind of, well, not fun, but, you know, uh, just one of those things. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day. Uh, don't forget the trivia question on the Facebook page. And we're almost to 1,000, so we'll be starting a contest. Uh, if it hits 1,000 around Christmas time, we'll wait till the first of the year and do it with Christmas and everything going on. But... As soon as we hit 1,000, I'll be looking for that next prize for the contest. So, uh, like I say, everybody have a great day. We'll catch you tomorrow. God bless, and we're praying for you. Mm -hmm.